guys, welcome to Chevrolet Hill YouTube channel In today's video, I will talk about our blocking crew in Chevrolet So, let's get started Before that, if you are new to our channel, don't hesitate to subscribe and hit the bell button to receive the latest notification Blocking crew in the French represents a crew which is set to put elements into and take elements out from in other words, multiple threads can be inserting and taking elements concurrently from a Java blocking queue without any concurrency issues arising. The term blocking queue comes from the fact that the Java blocking queue is capable of blocking the threads that try to insert or take elements from the queue. For instance, if a thread tries to take an element that they are not left in the queue, the thread can be blocked until there is an element to take. Whether or not the calling thread is blocked depends on what methods you call on the blocking queue. The different methods are explained in more detail later. So, let's get uh, into more detail. A blocking queue is typically used to have one thread produce objects, which another thread consumes. Here is a diagram that illustrates illustrate this principle. It is not possible to insert noon into a blocking queue if you try to insert noon, the blocking queue will throw a noon motor exception and also uh, possible to access all the elements inside a blocking queue and not just the elements at start and end. So there are two types of blocking queue. Uh, the first one is a public queue. Uh, which is the capacity of the blocking queue will be set to integer dot max value in the case of an unpowered blocking queue the queue will never block because it could grow to a very large size so when you add element its size grow so the second type of the queue is powered queue in the case of a powered queue you can create a queue passing the capacity of the queue in queue's constructor and now I will implement some basic operation of blocking queue. So first one we will have adding elements. So an element can be added into a link block link queue in different ways depending on the type of structure we are trying to use it as. The most common method is the add method using which we can add elements at the end of the queue. We can also use the add all method which is a method uh, our collection interface to add an entire collection to link blocking the queue. If we wish to use the queue as a queue, we can use add and put. So firstly, I will create object of blocking queue. So I will use blocking queue. I will name it blocking queue and equal to new Link, link blocking DQ and now I can uh, here I want uh, my blocking queue contain only integer so I will uh, input integer in a uh, um, diamond bracket and also here So, uh, for example, I want to add uh, number two into my blocking queue. We use a blocking queue dot add two, and I want to add some more number. So I keep copy and pass it. So five, four, and one. So now uh, let's bring out our blocking queue to see our result. Okay, so let's run the program. So, as you can see here in our blocking queue, we have number two, five, four, one. So, that is our uh, adding elements or uh, basic operations. And so now we will move on next operation, which is accessing elements. Uh, the elements of the link blocking DQ can be accessed using contains element pick upon. So now I will implement that operation. So we will keep this blocking queue and now we will uh, use contain to check if uh, a number is contained in the blocking queue or not. 
So now I will use uh, So I will check if the elements contain uh, uh, number 4 or not So for example, I will use if statement If blocking key Contain 2 I will bring out The Locking key Contain 2 So let's check it uh, Here we Use our statement And now let's go and check if the number 2 uh, is contained in the blocking tree or not. So we have the result that the blocking tree contains number 2. And that is how we access the uh, element in the blocking tree. Now we will use element method to retrieve the head of the queue. So for example, I will try to bring the head of the queue. I will write the head of the queue, and I will use a uh, working queue dot element method. So now let's see the results. That's so how the head of the working queue is number two. That is correct. And that is how we accept the elements in uh, blocking queue. And now we will move on uh, deleting elements. So elements can be deleted from uh, link blocking BQ using remove. Other methods such as tech and pull can uh, also be used in a way to remove the first and the last element. So now I will try to implement that uh, operation for you guys. So here yeah, I will bring uh, the result after remove the blocking queue after remove uh, blocks blocking queue. Okay, here we we'll try to remove it using remove method here. So, for example, I want to remove uh, number four and number two. Now, let's say uh, our output. So, as you can see, the one queue after remove. Is find one. We already uh, delete the uh, two and four out of our blocking queue. So that is quite an easy operation, right? And now the last things I want to mention that uh, is iterating through the elements in the blocking queue. So to iterate through the elements of a link blocking BQ, you can create an iterator and use the method of the iterable interface which is the root of the collection framework of Java to accept the elements and the next method of iterable returns the element of any collection. So now I will implement it. Uh, Here we create an iterator. Uh, we have integer in a blocking queue. So, so it will equal to blocking queue dot iterator. And now, uh, after we uh, finish creating an iterator to traverse through the blocking queue. Uh, I will bring 
uh, the elements of the blocking queue on the console. So I will use system. So here we see the blocking queue. Uh, Okay, here we use a for loop for iterating. Uh, and it should be smaller than integer iterator. Oh, sorry, it should be smaller than our blocking queue dot size so a plus plus uh, this would be okay now I will bring out the vision okay that's it so let's see uh, our results. Uh, let me add some more number into our blocking queue. Okay. So as you can see here, our our blocking queue contains five one two five four one. So we use iterator to bring out. To iterate into our blocking DQ, and every time it pass uh, an element, it will bring that element on our console. So, and that is the end of our today's tutorial. And that's the end of today's video. Thank you for watching. If this video is helpful for you guys, please give us a like and a comment below. In the next video, I will show you guys how to use that in Q in Java. So, see you guys in the next video.